Hey guys, it is spring here and it means not only plants and insects are awakening, but a lot of dangerous fungus diseases. And today I want to talk to you about downy mildew on roses, because I found it on my two young plants. There are some slides and also I will show my plants an example in the end. Um, rose um, downy mildew is remarkably variable. In the past 20 years the most common symptom has been angular tent spots with a very small amount of white crystalline sporulation on the leaf undersides. The name of the pathogen, the Paranosa sparsa, reflects the uh, sparse production of the white spores. Sometimes collapsing buds or kinkers form uh, on newly emerging rose cans. Different uh, spices and cultivars of roses respond differently to downy mildew, making uh, a diagnosis very difficult. Uh, several uh, leaf drop is common um, on some cultivars. Tiny uh, speckles may form that are tan and even bright pink. Such symptoms are difficult to distinguish from uh, early infection with botrytis, powdery mildew or even rust. Under most conditions, leaves uh, turn brownish or yellow and drop. A white uh, downy fungus crown uh, may occur on the leaf undersides. But uh, this is usually too hard to see without a microscope. Uh, under drier conditions, uh, leaf spots appear as brown burned areas, mimicking spray injury. Reddish streaks uh, or sunken cankers can also occur on rose cans. Sometimes downy mildew or sporulation can be observed directly on discolored spots on cans if they are first incubated at high uh, humidity uh, for a few days. Symptoms uh, can appear almost overnight and uh, a severe outbreak can take off if you do not act preventively. Fans and wind uh, easily move spores from plant to plant, but uh, your best allies in preventing downy mildew outbreaks, since they improve air circulation around plants. Dry leaves rapidly uh, and reduce uh, relative humidity. Down mildew weather is uh, cool to warm, humid and rainy. Wet leaves and uh, high humidity will trigger sporulation overnight. When the sun comes out, leaves start to dry and spores are released. Most spores spread by fans and wind and infect new leaves before noon. Six hours of contact, uh, leaf wetness and uh, enough for spores of uh, many downy mildew fungi to germinate and infect leaves. Even though fans might move spores, uh, you should use uh, them alone with the venting to reduce humidity and uh, leaf wetness. Try to water early in the day or whenever the leaves will dry quickly to ensure the dry foliage at night. Uh, check all new plants for symptoms upon receipt. Early detection is the only way to control downy mildew. Uh, the, cul uh, the cultural step that should be taken when growing um, garden roses are would be uh, destroy rose debris from previous crops, spores can uh, or winter in the leaves and cans. Then the downy mildew can attack new plants. To protect them from infection, isolate new shipments away from the last year plants. Um, space plants uh, to allow rapid drying of leaves. If the leaves are touching, they are too close. Water at time of day uh, that will promote the fastest possible drying. And also apply fungicides preventively. What helps to me to prevent uh, Actually, any kind of uh, fungus diseases is to spray uh, leaves with a neem oil. It gives them some protection from uh, it and if you also spray it every two weeks. Some examples of fungicides could be used for treating downy mildew I wrote below in the description to this video. I just want to show uh, how it looks like on, on a young wood. So the, that is easy, most common um, spread out on a 
really young wood stamps which are uh, was just from the last year that's what happened in here this is a really young plant it's about like one two years old rose bush what you want to pay attention is uh, those are red dots on the wood stem and as you can see it's spread out here all over the uh, wood It's not only on one side or anything like that, it's all around it. So sometimes roses can have a lot, a lot of different uh, spots on it, with a different kind of colors, like here the brownish color on the, here on one side, and the green is on the other side, which is uh, completely normal, it's the uh, aging of the wood. And here, as you can see, an uh, important uh, symptom of that it's a breakdown on the wood. So most of the time it will have uh, like a red area, and in the middle or somewhere it will be have a break breakdown on on the wood. So you you should uh, really look for for those signs on your rose bushes, and if you can see something like that, so the best way is uh, just to cut off all those. Um, bad wood uh, stems to prevent uh, spread out of disease in the garden so I'll show the other one here the, this plant I got from cardenings last year so it's the first year of that plant and here you, as you can see those breakdowns here one and two over here And there's uh, actually a uh, red iris around. So I had to cut off that wood stem also. Thank you for watching. See you next time.